Mike, I hear there's some horrific details emerging from Sayreville High School on things that happened to the kids in the football team. A parent of one of the freshmen on the Sayreville High School football team uh, anonymously spoke to NJ.com Advanced Media and really laid out some really graphic and disgusting details. They descend upon one freshman or another and then either stick a finger or a bar of soap into the rectums of one of these kids. Um, and sometimes, if they were feeling particularly gruesome, they would even then stick their finger in the mouths of the kid that they were assaulting. We brought in Dr. Chuck Williams, good friend of the show, uh, to kind of weigh in on that. Now, Dr. Chuck, do we have another Penn State on our hands here in New Jersey? We have another Penn State in New Jersey, in Pennsylvania, in New Mexico. I mean, you pick any state, these things are happening. It's group psychology 101. Whether it's bullying or hazing, and the two overlap when I talk about it from time to time, and that is that what will you do? What are you willing to do to fit in? Dr. Chuck, what do you have to say to the one brave young man that uh, spoke up against this huge football program and all his classmates and peers? This is what I say. Tonight, he's my hero. I wish we had more young men especially who would speak up about these things and not feel that somehow it makes them less of a man to talk about how horrible these things are and the impact they may have on people psychologically. And again, the other young folks who are watching this in high school and in colleges, you know, who watch Chasing New Jersey need to take a lead from him and say, you know what, I can be just like this young man. I can be brave. I can be a hero. I can speak out. And who knows, you could save a life more than your own. Uh, this story is far from over. There's going to be maybe some heads rolling in the administration and the coaching staff. Uh, we'll be sure to talk to you soon about this. Thank you very much.